Welcome to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. So around 2.15 a.m. this morning, or 11.15 p.m. West Coast time last night, Whoever operates the official Star Wars Twitter account decided to release this post, which basically states that uh, we are proud to welcome Moses Ingram to the Star Wars family and excited for Reva's story to unfold. If anyone intends to make her feel in any way unwelcome, we have only one thing to say. We resist. Then they responded to the post themselves, stating... There are more than 20 million sentient species in the Star Wars galaxy. Don't choose to be racist. Now, this post is related to the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, which just premiered this past week on Disney+. And if I'm not mistaken, the show is supposed to be focused on Obi-Wan Kenobi. But apparently, according to this tweet... This is now becoming Reva's story. Reva is an Inquisitor who is after not only Obi-Wan Kenobi, but any other Jedi that she can find along with a group of other Inquisitors. So this is a very bizarre tweet because essentially the message is saying here, if you don't like Reva or Moses Ingram, you're a racist. That's a really negative thing to say. And there's a term for it. It's called negative marketing. That's precisely what this is. Waiting until the middle of the night to release a completely adversarial accusatory comment directed to the fans, the people that the show is intended for, and calling everyone racist if they don't like Moses Ingram or her character this doesn't make any sense. Reva is supposed to be a villain in the story. So fans who are watching the show are probably not supposed to like her because she's supposed to be a villain. She's supposed to be this very dark, evil character that's out to kill anyone who gets in her way, threaten people, and kill as many Jedi as she can find. So that's not exactly a warm, fuzzy feeling that you're supposed to get with this character. Yet they're saying in the statement that if you don't like her, you're a racist. So you're supposed to like her even though she's the villain of the show. This really doesn't make any sense. This is the problem when a company, especially a really large company like Disney and its subsidiary Lucasfilm suddenly decide to engage in this type of negative marketing. And they started this even before the show premiered. They released an article on Variety last week. And in that article, they basically started saying the same thing. Oh, that they warned Moses Ingram that she's probably going to get all of this racist hate because people aren't going to like her character. It's just bullshit. I'm not seeing people saying they don't like her. I'm not seeing people saying they hate her. I don't have a problem with her being in the show. I found her character to be interesting, and I'm waiting to see what's going to happen in the show. But if I or anyone else doesn't like her for whatever reason, according to Lucasfilm and Disney, that qualifies you now as being a racist. Which is really ironic because as several people have responded to this tweet, Nerdrotic responded with the posters that were released for Star Wars 7 The Force Awakens. Because as I have also talked about, before this film was released in China, the posters for the film deliberately shrunk Uh, John Boyega's character of Finn down to nothing so you could barely see him in the poster because apparently Chinese audiences don't like to see people of color. So you have a company that's trying to cater its films 
to a country that doesn't like people of color turn around and tell people in the United States and other Western countries that if you don't like people of color in these in their works that you are a racist. So it doesn't matter what the story is. It doesn't matter if the character isn't well written. It doesn't matter if the plot is poorly written. If you don't like it, according to Lucasfilm, you're a racist. This is what this is saying. I mean, this is very insulting. And they haven't just done it with, uh, with Star Wars. You just come down here and somebody else posted a similar poster that they released when Black Panther was released. In China, they had his face covered with his Black Panther mask so that you would be less inclined to know that he was a person of color. So again, it's the same flawed strategy that Disney has been following to promote films that have people of color in them in a country, China, that doesn't like to see people of color on film. Yet everywhere else, it doesn't matter why you don't like them. It doesn't matter if you don't like them because they're poorly written. It doesn't matter if you don't like them because it's a bad plot or the story is bad. If you don't like anything in these films or these shows, you are a racist, in, according to Lucasfilm and Disney and apparently Marvel as well. It really doesn't encourage people to want to sit down and watch their programs. Why should somebody want to sit down and watch Obi-Wan Kenobi if they're going to be called a racist because if for any reason they decide they don't like a particular character in the show? What benefit is there in this type of negative marketing? Why would this be posted in the middle of the night? Whoever is doing the PR for Lucasfilm and Disney, they clearly aren't really concerned too much about what shareholders might think as well because by issuing these types of blanket accusations against the very people that you're trying to market to, that doesn't really mean that you're going to be making a lot of money. You're driving people away. You're driving away the very people that you want to see these shows so that you can earn money. It makes no sense. But this is what happens in a big company like Disney and Lucasfilm, where apparently if you say anything negative about anyone for any reason, you're going to be labeled something. It doesn't matter what it is. You're going to be labeled and you're going to be accused. And then they're going to just throw it out there and blame everybody in the fandom. Everyone in the fandom is now guilty of this, which would even include people of color in the fandom. You know, it just, it makes no sense. Thanks for watching today. And a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.